Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Also, remember, give this video a big thumbs up and help your girl out. While you're at it, check out my merch section, okay? And support your girl. No guys, Miss Cardi B, she has let us in the family group chat again, and she's about to threaten us all with lawsuits because that's what she does every time she let us into the group chat. She let us into her um matrimonial problems, the family problems. And when we react to what she shares with us, she's like, I'm going to sue your ass. Ask Stasha K about me. You know, crazy, right? Now, this time around, it seems as though Cardi B is having family feud with Offset's family. And she's saying that she doesn't want anyone to be playing in her kid's face. She doesn't want anyone to be fake with her kids because she grew up with genuine love. She grew up with a mom that loved her, her dad, her grandma. And I definitely agree with Cardi B. However, on the other hand, what kind of behavior is Cardi B displaying to Offset's family? Why are they saying, you know, things about her for her to come to us? Because when she comes to social media, she's coming to us. And when she comes to us and we talk about it, people want to tell us to um, leave these people and leave their private business alone. But in case you haven't caught on. She came on social media. She went live. So it's in the public domain. She added us to the group chat. We didn't ask her. We were here trying to figure out what we're going to have for our dinner, what the kids are going to have for school. Summer break is around the corner. How are we going to pivot with these kids during the summer break, the heat and all of that? And she was like, hey guys, Come over here for a bit. Forget about what you're doing. Offset family and I, we're having problems, right? And family will always have problems. But what I don't like with Cardi B is the fact that she's always coming to the internet with things that she's not supposed to come to the internet with. Remember, we're talking about a woman who has really good money. Go vent to a therapist. Go cry to a therapist because when you come on the internet and you tell us these things, you then want to put us in trouble with a lawsuit after we give you our opinion, after she asks for it. Because the mere fact that you're telling us what is going on, you're asking for our input. And you know that we all have different personalities. And when the personalities hits her, she then fires back. But Cardi B needs to realize that if she's going to stay with a cheating husband, she's going to be always fighting some kind of battles because oftentimes we see Offset cheats, she forgives him, and now she's calling Offset her baby father. She's not even referring to this man as her husband, okay? She's now calling him her baby father. And I think that that's not a good look for her because it makes Cardi B look unstable. Today, that man is your husband and today you and your husband goes, goes good and you go good really bad. And because of your husband, no one is stealing from you again. And then the moment that your husband getting another woman pregnant, because if you don't remember that story, Offset has gotten another woman pregnant again. Her name is Pre, Pre Bestie was paid 15k by offset allegedly to keep you know him and 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 um pre's business quiet and then he allegedly put out a hit on pre's bestie after paying that 15k for her to keep quiet he also paid um pre 15k to abort the baby and pre is very smart because Pre saying, you, you are giving me 15k to abort this baby, but if I keep this baby, you're going to have to give me a check until the child is 18. So Pre's like, hell no, I'm not going to have an abortion, right? So every time we find that, off, every time Cardi B learns that something is going on with Offset and it becomes embarrassing to her, she comes to the internet and she vents. And not only does she vents, she threatens 
people. And that could be what is taking Offset's family a bit back. Because while family do have their differences, how is it that you're going to threaten people, telling them, you know, you're being nice and they should be careful what they're doing to you because they don't want to see the ugly side of you, right? That is a warning that you're sending out to those people. And Cardi B needs to understand that. It seems as though she is alone in her fight because even if your family supports you, at some point in time, they're going to get exhausted by your consistent battles, especially knowing that Cardi B has the option to choose to choose her battles wisely, and she's not doing so. Cardi B could say to herself that, you know what? I married this man. I wanted the marriage to work, but now it's not working. Also, do you guys remember, didn't we tell Cardi B not to marry Offset? Didn't we tell her that if she married Offset, these were the problems that she was going to have? And she was like, I want to be married and I want to be married real bad. And then after she married Offset, she realized that she's going to have a problem. And then when she realized that Offset is going to be a huge problem and a huge embarrassment to her, she said, She's not going to leave Offset because she doesn't want to leave him and then see him moving on to treating another woman better. So now that she has decided to stay, she's venting about Offset family. But Cardi B need to be cognizant of the fact that that's Offset family. And if they feel some type of way about you already, are you being wise by bringing this to social media? And... If you look at Cardi B's ratchet behavior over the years, and if Offset has a baby mama who gets along with everyone who have, um, who has, you know, consistent, decent, healthy dialogue with Offset's family, naturally Offset's family is going to choose that baby mama over Cardi B. And people are going to be tactful with how they, you know, treat Cardi B's kids. So it's not necessarily that Offset's family are showing her kids fake love. It could be Cardi B who they're being fake to. This family may very well want to get along with the kids, love upon them, but maybe each time they try to love upon Cardi B, Cardi B kids, Cardi B has specific instructions for them to go by and maybe they're not happy about that. And, you know, most times, especially, you know, some aunts, because Offset, they do have, he, he does have a sister who have basically spoken about Cardi B's behavior before. So if Cardi B is being like, hey, Mama Bear it being disrespectful to Offset's family and giving them that sass, that nasty attitude, then naturally they're going to be cautious as how to, as how they approach those kids. And it's not as though they don't love the kids, but it's just that they really don't know how to function around the kids because they know that whatever they do, Cardi B complains. Chances are they might buy the kids a gift and Cardi B complains because Cardi B seems to be that kind of person who loves to complain a lot, who has a problem with everything, right? She doesn't know how to communicate with people effectively and in a respectful manner. And as such, this is why we see her coming to social media and talking about offset family. If you're the wife, this is something that you don't want to do. You cannot be out here consistently declaring war against everything and everyone. It's not making any sense. When you go into a marriage is called a union. And when you marry a man, you go into his family. And when you go into that family, make no mistakes, some in-laws can be monsters real horrible but we don't see the in-laws coming at Cardi B we see Cardi B coming at them you know in this video and Cardi B has a huge platform millions of followers so you know that whatever she's saying a lot of people they're gonna hear it they're gonna you know add their opinion to it and she's really putting that family in a bad light and you know that that is going to further cause some challenges or some problems but depending on who that family is they may very well reach out to Cardi B to have a healthy discussion but I also believe that Cardi B is not thinking from a calm and happy place I believe as though Cardi B is being rebellious because I strongly believe there's a baby mama of offset that the family loves and appreciates more. And I believe that Cardi B cannot understand why is it that offset's 
family loves and appreciates that baby mama more than her Cardi B when her Cardi B has the fame, the money, the clout and everything. Because some people do not understand that not everyone is about money, not everyone is about fame, not everyone is about clout. And Offset is a celebrity in his own rights, and that could be good enough for his family. So I would say to Cardi B, sometimes things are going to hurt us, it's going to burn, but we need to be careful. We need to be more tactful in how we approach situations in moments of our anger, because when you speak angrily, it can have long-term negative impact, neg long-term negative ramifications on you, your kids as well. Because, I mean, God forbid, if something should happen to Cardi B, the family on both sides are going to need to rally their efforts together for these kids. And as such, she needs to try and, you know, coexist with this family. Even if they like another baby mama better than you, it is because of whatever that baby mama is doing. She doesn't have to compete, but she should try to get along with everyone as best as she can, especially in this case, the relative of her husband, especially if she wants the marriage to work. But already Offset is out here embarrassing Cardi B. So how is this going to even work that your husband keeps embarrassing you? He keeps cheating on you. Every time your husband impregnates someone else, you get pregnant because that's what the internet sees. That's what we believe. It's as though you're the side chick who is competing with other women when it should be the other way around. But this is what happens when Cardi B allows Offset to get away with the things that he has been doing. She has put up a very strong wall around her to say, listen, you stay your way and I'm going to stay my way. Give herself even a one-year break from her marriage for her husband to understand that if he does that again, it's not going to be something that she's willing to live with. It's not going to be something that she's willing to accept. But she's not defending herself. She's not protecting herself. And as such, Offset feels welcome to consistently walk over her. People may say, men have feelings. That's one thing. Men will cheat. Some of them, not all of them. But at the same time, why is Cardi B allowing this man to feel welcome to walk over her consistently? And when things do not turn out in her favor, when Offset ditches her for a side chick, she comes to the internet, vents, and then when the internet chimes in, she threatens everyone with a lawsuit. She needs to break out of that cycle. We can always suggest, but she has to do it for herself and she needs to stay healthy mentally, physically, emotionally for her kids as well. And that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. It's your time to chime in. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.